welcome, my man. Welcome to the Mrs. How you doing over there? Good. You good? I'm good. Well, you got a story to tell here, my friend. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. How long have you had diabetes now? Uh, about what? Mm -hmm. about 15 years. 15 years? No. I haven't been that long. I had food. I had my food. Okay, so About 15 years. About 15 years? Yeah. And this amputation was done, you said, you told me earlier, last about a year ago. Yeah, yeah, they did that in August of last year. August of last year. Okay. All right. And so, what led up to this toe being amputated? Um, it, it got dry again, green. Okay. It got affected. Uh huh. By the time I got single, Dead going that dry gangrene. Okay. What led to the dry gangrene? Do you know? Lack of blood flow. Okay. Now, had you before the dry gangrene set in, did you have like any wound of the foot or? Yeah. What happened? They cut. They cut the bottom of it off. He just had a lot of calluses. A lot of callus under the bottom of the, of, of the big toe. Yeah, underneath yeah. the foot. Mm-hmm. They say it wasn't because of the game grain, I mean, because of the sugar. Mm hmm. It was a blood flow. I got you. So they said it was unrelated to the diabetes? Right. That's interesting. Because diabetes is one of the leading causes of problems with circulation, problems with blood flow. Mm hmm. So I, I, would, I would counter that. I would say it was definitely related to your diabetes. Because blood flow issues are directly related to diabetes mm -hmm. in these instances. And, and this is the path that we see, right? Mm -hmm. You have like a callus on the big toe that breaks down, the skin underneath the callus breaks down. because yeah, I was having to do his foot uh, mm -hmm. just about every other night, mm -hmm. callus. And What's interesting is that your nails are in pretty good shape. There are a couple of them that are thicker than usual, like this little toe. But they're not, they're not like the big fungal nails and stuff like that yeah, we typically I see. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, some of the videos you had. Mm -hmm. That'd be so Your nails are actually very good. That's wonderful. That's so good. Mm -hmm. But we got to get to the bottom of this callus issue. All right, we did a scan earlier of your feet to get the pressures of your feet because we wanted to see what it it looked like before we worked on the calluses and after we work on the calluses. All right, to see if decreasing uh, that callus buildup helps improve the pressure across the bottom of your feet, across the ball of your feet in particular, and your heels. You know, so far, uh, what you've done so far, mm -hmm. is way better than what you've been doing. Well, I appreciate that sentiment, Matt, because i uh, got to have a complete, a holistic approach to what's going on. It's not just a skin problem. It's not just a callus problem. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to deal with circulation. You got to deal with skin. You got to deal with the biomechanics, the shape of his yeah. foot and everything else like that. He has crazy high arches. And that leads to the formation of callus. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you have very high arches, right? Yes. Especially on your left foot. And so when we see that, often it makes these high pressure areas, even in the non-diabetic, underneath the big toe, mm -hmm. underneath the little toe, and the heel. And you have all of those. But when you add diabetes and poor circulation and neuropathy, when you put all that together, you can get these type of issues. And over time, what can happen Wow. It's like what happened on your big toe over here. Right. The callus causes a breakdown of the skin underneath. And that becomes an ulcer. It's the day it's playing all the time. Yep. See what I mean? That becomes an ulcer, and then that gets infected. And then you get gangrene. And if you have poor circulation, you get a dry gangrene versus a wet gangrene, which is we see often in very bad infections. And whatnot, but a dry gangrene gets to the point where, like in this case, the toe actually mummifies, right? Right. It gets dark, gets black. Mm -hmm. That's what happened to yeah. that. Yep. Yeah. And I've even had instances where people 
have had what we call auto amputations, where basically the toe just falls off. Right. Without surgery, I had he had a coworker that would this when we would pick him up, and I would tell him I said mm -hmm. I had poor circulation, but mine came from smoking cigarettes, right? And I was on birth control pills, mm -hmm. and I told and see all this surgery I had. I said I've had three or oh, what three strokes mm -hmm. and thirteen surgeries. Wow! Yeah. And uh, I said you don't go and get that foot looked at. <laughs> You will be sitting at your table one day and that toe just gonna fall off. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, just it happened. <laughs> just like it just they like him and it, yeah. they was all sitting at the center. Mm -hmm. And his mother said, Hannah, hey, just like you said, his toe fell off. Y'all didn't need the table. At the table, wow. I said, Oh my goodness, I did I, I did not know. Yeah. <laughs> and now he don't have do he have any legs? He don't have any legs. Legs and legs are amputated. They, don't have, they went from his, it started from the toe, mm -hmm. the foot. What then that foot turned went to the leg up to the knee. But he went do right. But he went yeah he, he kept drinking drugs and stuff. And stuff. Mm -hmm. so, well, that's the typical story, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Even without those other issues like drug use and things like that. Yeah, my son, what his wife, her son. Her, uh, our baby boy's dad was mm -hmm. the same way. He don't listen. Yeah, right. All right. So I got this yes. one of the fifth toe first. You see where the skin underneath yes. is all white, right? It it's it's called macerated, right? But that's because you've had some no, some drainage under you. Hey, when was the last time this was done for you? Um, let me see, today is the 14th. Mm -hmm. I took him to um, a second opinion, a second doctor mm -hmm. out here, and uh, oh, I'm trying to think two of weeks ago. It's been, no, it's been longer than that. Three weeks. Because, um, it was in August. Because, mm -hmm. I, because I had set this appointment up for today. And uh, it's been about four weeks. It's okay. Okay. Did they shave it down like I'm doing he, now? No. No? He, no it's he, not he like this. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. They didn't do it like that. No, he didn't. He didn't really. He cut the nails down some and mm -hmm. shaved a little bit. No, he didn't touch my nails. He didn't cut your nails. He just said the best step up and that was it. Oh, I couldn't. Okay. That's what I, we had our grandson with us. He told the doctor, he said, this is what made me yeah. go with the third opinion. And I told him, I said, I'm just going to go ahead. So I saw him your third opinion? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, okay. but I think my first doctor had for years. Okay. But right? he wasn't doing nothing. The second, so I doubt what was going with him because as a matter of fact, so I went to another doctor, right? Mm -hmm. And my wife said, Blah 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 blah, blah. and that was it. I said, yeah, that's, 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 with him. Let's, let's try him. She showed me videos mm -hmm. and everything, right? So yeah, I had to go for the bad stuff to find the good stuff. <laughs> now let's take care. This is the main one right here. Yeah, that one. Well, we hope that as I shave this down, that the skin underneath is intact. Yeah, that, that's, that, that's what we worry about when we're working on calluses to this right. degree that there's an ulcer underneath. Well, I hope not. Look at that, let's see. I know thick, I, I walk on it, I feel it. Mm -hmm. I feel it. I feel the toughness in it, you know? And the numbness, like numb now, I feel like numb now. My brother tell me, he said, you never was in the foot business, but I, I used to work on the neighborhood. The young, mm -hmm. I, I, I used to just work on their feet. Yeah, see, see how all this is coming underneath? Yeah. See how it's all kind of cheesy under here? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 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 I know. I see it. Okay. I can feel it. I can feel it coming on. 
But the last time, because uh, I be looking at it, I be just like wanting to get the knife and just mm-hmm. get it myself. I, I can feel the last time I had an ulcer, right? Because I, I told him, I said, maybe we can but soak it. But then he was don't saying, don't it. soak it. I'm like, what? why can't you soak it? Baby? As he cut it down like this, as he cut that, he cut it down real deep. He told me not to soak it at that moment. Mm-hmm. After you had the amputation. Right. Well, well, let me tell you something. It's a good thing you came in today, brother, because this was on its way to being a problem. Whoa. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I'm not going to have that problem anymore because, yeah, from now on, I'm coming in. So they don't talk to me like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't, you know, they don't tell me the straight fact of what I can and can't do. Right. Mm-hmm. And I just need to know the truth of the matter. You know, if it's something I can do, let me know. Yes, sir. No, I would like to work a little bit, a couple more years. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. You know, and I didn't know what. I just, I was scared to do certain things. I said, "Oh, well, I just have to wait till you see it." Well, you did the right thing, my friend. Because people really get themselves in trouble when they try to mm-hmm. deal with this on their own at, at home without being under a doctor's care for it. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I just tell nobody else is going to die. I said, I'm going to take you. I said, we just have to work out our appointments and schedules. I feel a difference already. Mm-hmm. But my toes is like numb, though. Right. Well, that's, that's not neuropathy we talked about, which goes hand in hand with the diabetes. Okay. You kind of have the, the double whammy, the poor circulation and the uh, mm-hmm. neuropathy. Which leads to this, because ordinarily, it's somebody who didn't have neuropathy, these would hurt like crazy. Yeah. They wouldn't even get to this point, because you'd be in so much pain. But with the neuropathy, a lot of diabetics lose uh, a lot of pain sensation. Yeah, and that's what I'm losing a lot in some sense. But also, uh, I've been taking some pain medication mm-hmm. that's reducing the pain level. Yeah, but 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 that's not an anesthetic. It's not blocking the nerves. You're not having anything. Like, even with the medication that you're taking for, right? I was going through the medication list. You, this should still hurt when I'm messing, when I'm, I know. as I'm uh, doing all these manipulations not, and work on it. You're not having not, any pain at all. No, I know it's not a good thing. It's a dry skin, mm-hmm. dead skin. Yeah. But see, what happens is, yeah, as it, it mm-hmm. so it looks so, just so clean down there. Yeah. Well, this will dry, all right? There's no ulcer under here, which is good. Mm-hmm. That's great news, which means now what we need to do is help redistribute the weight across uh, the bottom might, of your foot. You think that might help with the, the, the toughness of it? I don't know. Well, the thing is, you don't want to try to make it tough. It is tough. That's what I'm saying. You don't want to try to make it tougher. What we want to do... Like you said, it's not early. Right, it right. It should be early. Yeah, it should be, but it's not. You know, when I was young, I used to break bricks and boards with my feet, right? Uh-huh. I never dreamed that this would become a reality this year. Mm-hmm. Like, there was nothing to break bricks and tournaments, win trophies and stuff back in the 70s. I never thought about this. All right. Now I wish I didn't do it. I'm running barefoot on concrete. <laughs> when was the last time you saw your farm every time? Uh, we what? just was up there. Uh, last month. We did this month. No, in the middle of the month. Up last, last month. month. Because he had called it and do prescriptions. Yeah. And he has a problem right now. But he a little slow too sometimes. My <laughs> sugar was good. Everything else. His sugar is under control. The pressure was good. He, uh-huh. Yeah, he takes off. Um, Everything pretty much was good. He, gets, he takes an injection once a week. Mm-hmm. And his sugar, at one time, it was. We couldn't get it there. Almost five. Yeah. Get yeah, up yeah. there, get up there. But now, since he get been on this medication yeah. and they got it straightened out, okay. um, his sugar levels mm-hmm. are fine. And his A1, I mean, uh, you know, his A1 count. That, that was uh, high. That mm-hmm. was high because that was uh, above. I think he was like 12 or something. No, it was 10 points something. It's hot, yeah. Oh, I know. They gave me the wrong. They started me back on it, and they upped it. They gave you too much of it. Mm-hmm. And uh, oh lord, I tell you. <laughs> so you're taking the uh, 
the in, one of those injections for your blood, blood sugar diabetes. for your diabetes? Yes. Since so many people now are using it like off label for weight loss and stuff, are you finding any issues getting it refilled and stuff? No, no, no. 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 Good. What is, what is it? Fructosa? I can't think it. It's uh, it's a it's a it is called. Right? You take a Manjaro, right? Manjaro. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Where I get the Ventosa from? So I think that's mine. <laughs> so that's what I think of that. I'll take it. Yeah, since he started that. Jarvis. Mm -hmm. Jarvis. Jarvis. Yeah, and his yeah, sugar levels yeah. are excellent. Like we take yeah. it in mm -hmm. the morning with no, um, fasting. His sugar would be like 98, 99. Okay. And then now oh, yes. he can eat something. Mm -hmm. And it never goes, thank God, it's never over maybe like 135, 140. I'll get there. Yeah, no get the 200s mm -hmm. and 300s. How long have you been taking the Manjaro now, the injection? About it's been three months. Three months? Yeah, okay. they just started him on that. Have you seen any other uh, good positive effects as far as? Your, your food intake or anything else like yeah, that? Greedy. I'm greedy. Oh, it make, oh, you know it makes you hungry? It made me hungry. Wow, well, that's just the opposite of what everybody else is doing. It made me hungry. They don't think nothing. They don't feel like they're knowing about my feet, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. At first, uh, I lost so much weight. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was really concerned. So after you started taking the injection? No, before. No, before. Oh, before, he okay. I started losing a lot of weight. Because one time he was in 42. Mm hmm. Yeah, now, well, I need to get, get him a 40. Mm hmm Because he's so tall that if we can find a 36 left or 37. Yeah. And it's gradually coming back. Yeah, when we can make a little bit. Hmm. I'm glad your blood sugar is having good control. Yeah, he's up all night. And I'm eating all night. <laughs> Oh, so no. so, you, so your 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 appetite is bad. Yes. And then some. Oh yeah. yeah. But but you manage to keep your blood sugars in good control. Yeah yeah yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's cool. Cause he likes it. Cause he, like I get all that the jelly and stuff. He has to get the all fruit or mm -hmm. you know, no sugar. I eat most of the peanut butter though. Yeah. A little core in the middle of this one I'm taking out. Thank you. you want to get these out because these are high pressure areas and cause skin breakdown. And a case like yours can easily become an ulcer. I don't want that. No, sir. Here we go. All right. I'm going to be tired for teaching. Until I put a beard for a mm -hmm. I think he's doing eight years, nine oh, years. Oh, Lord. I'll wait for you. <laughs> there we go. I'll, I will wait for you, man. I promise you, I'll wait for you. I don't know how that work here. I mess with her so much. Mm -hmm. your, your sister say, I can tell you, I always pick up with her. I said, yes, I do. That feels so much better working up. Well, you need a whole diabetic shoes, insoles. You need a filler for the big toe on your left foot. I asked you that. I said, I'm going to tell you that you need that uh, uh, piece for that toe. Yeah, for your toe, toe, toe. Like that. Yeah, because what can happen if you don't get a, a filler for the big toe, the second toe can start moving out of place. Okay. Because the toes also bolster each other they keep themselves in place That's so great. when a toe gets amputated it's not unusual for the toes next to the toe that was amputated to start to drift over in that space and that creates new issues yeah i guess mm -hmm. i mean like like let's say that i'm realistic you know mm -hmm. i know my quality of life uh feet that thing is not gonna never be the same or the best but at least while I'm still here on this earth, I like that the best quality I can get. And, you know, mm -hmm. like really, uh, what, what? I like to think 
The thing is, you know, being educated about your condition, which you are, and getting things back in shape and working with your doctors, which you are, because your blood sugar is in good control, and that's where everything starts. Yeah. It's like what we're doing all here, right here today. Okay. If we do all this stuff today like we're doing now, if your blood sugar stays out of whack, everything we're doing here today doesn't really matter. Right. right? I, I recognize that. Mm-hmm. Now, I cut out sugar, all this stuff for when my sugar goes down low, I eat something sweet. But I cut out use the sugar content. Mm-hmm. You know, and on it, Yeah, for a minute, I cut that out. So the next, I think we're going to uh, incorporate more exercise. So yeah, man, that's all of today's take right there. I mean, that's a lot. This is my Dremel, my sandpaper on here. Yeah, I mean, I know that's not crazy, Don. No, 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 no. If you've never had this done before, ask yeah, questions, man. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm doing with the Dremel here, it's smoothing everything out because when you when you when we use the blade to shave all this stuff down, it can leave little ridges. So I like to smooth it out so you don't have those ridges and then you have loose skin remaining. I like to get the loose skin off. Yeah, it feels better. Uh, if it takes time, I get up on the seat. Mm-hmm. My girlfriend was my father, and I would not take it. Let her take it to a foot doctor or whatever. He's going to go to the foot salon, go around and try to get a pedicure. Okay. They told him he didn't get up out of there with this long toenail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So, I mean, we, we, we discovered uh, a number of things, right? We know we got to get deeper on the uh, circulation, see what things are or not. Shave the calluses down completely today. Yes. All right, the, the thing is, they're going to want to keep coming back. Yes. So that's what we need to battle against. And so that's going to be the diabetic shoes, the diabetic insoles, okay. good skin care. I want to put um, some of the shea butter on you. I'm going to give you this as a gift, man, because you're a good dude. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Dr. If the wife here is going to make sure you put it on every day. Yes, 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 my mom. <laughs> she do. I mean, that's, I, that's why married men live longer. Yeah, and, and you're right. right. Better care. So, but this has to be done every day. You put, put up all the feet and the legs. Don't put it between the toes. Okay, I remember keep, you saying that mm-hmm. about don't put that between your yeah, toes. Keep, keep it dry between the toes. Mm-hmm. All right, you gotta watch these callus areas daily. Because again, you know, the, the issue that you have with the high arches, it's a biomechanical issue as well as diabetes poor circulation and neuropathy. All these things are coming together for a perfect storm that led up to you needing an amputation and the issues that you're still facing. But now that you're here, now that we got you uh, in the fold, all that can be prevented. Well, guess what? I'm stuck in the fold. All right. Now, I have uh, an open door policy for my diabetic patients. Okay. If there's ever anything wrong or you, it looks like it's wrong with your foot. Okay. You call the office here. Hey, uh, I need to see Dr. J right away. I think there's something wrong with my foot. If you call in the morning, we we'll see you that that day or that afternoon. You call in the afternoon and see, oh, you see you this day. Yeah, because I, I I don't like patients and with especially at the, the, this, these high risk type of things to have to wait to the next appointment. That's how long it took. Yeah, exactly. Or end up going to urgent care or yeah, emergency. Yeah, because that's where he was going. Because I had to wait over the weekend. Uh-huh. I had to wait with you over the weekend, right? Right. Until Monday. Monday, the game green got in there. Yeah, it only takes a couple of days. Yeah, yeah that's all it took, too. That's what you call I, Thank you so much. I called and told him it was infected. Uh-huh. I knew it was infected. Yeah. And I couldn't get up in there and, and the spot. Mm-hmm. Where I could be. And I'd come back Monday, and the money when I got there. Yeah. Well, I got you now, man. Hey, that felt good, though. I, that felt good. <laughs> he stuck my feet. You see, that felt good. All right. There you go, man. I felt that. That's one.
This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Share it with your family and friends and ring the bell so you will know when a new video has been uploaded. If you have any of the issues in this video or any of my other videos, see a podiatrist as soon as possible. But most importantly, take care of your feet.